So before we head into adding materials and textures, I'm going to show you one last lighting technique in Maya that works with Arnold, and it's called a sky dome light. So let's go to Arnold, lights, and sky dome light. So one of the ways to light scenes is basically using image-based lighting and this uses an actual image of an environment to create a light source that matches that environment. And this can be done with the sky dome light. It's a way to get really high quality light with just one image projecting light into your scene. So instead of using all of these different uh, light lights from Maya, you can just use an entire sky dome that simulates an environment and have it light up your scene. Let's select our last uh, set of lights, so the spotlight and the area light, all the lights that we were using previously, and let's hide them. So hit Control H to hide, and you should have only your sky dome light on now. So now that we have our sky dome light on, uh, let's go to the render and Arnold if you're not there. And so this is what your image would start to look like. If we zoom out a bit, selecting your sky dome light, you can see it's a giant sphere that's wrapping my scene. Uh, for this case, let's scale it down because we don't need it to be so large since we're working with such a small scene. And let's zoom back in. And now let's go to the attribute editor and see the different settings that we have. So we can change the color of our light, the way we we had been able to with the previous light object. We can also change the intensity, so we can dial this up or down. And we can add samples to give this, uh, make this a higher quality image because of the quality of the lighting. We can also affect the shadow color. And this last thing I want, to show you is uh, under visibility tab in camera. If you change this to zero, what's happened is that basically my background uh, has disappeared, but my lighting system is still working. So my sky dome light is still lighting my scene, but if I want to render this image, you'll see that I don't have the background, my sky dome background. Whereas if I change my camera to one and I try to render this again, you can see now this white background which represents basically the sphere that is being lit up uniformly in this white color. So besides adding color to my sky dome, we can actually put a bitmap into the color channel and get even more effective lighting. So to do this, we're gonna first of all uh, need to have an image to use. And so for this, we are gonna be working with HDRI files, which are a high bit depth file. And this means you'll get a better gradation of light than what you would with a regular JPEG. So there's different websites uh, that where you can go to get HDR files and this is a free free website uh, where you can download these for free. I've added this image to your document for week three so you can download this image directly from that document and I'll anyways be posting this link to our resources document uh, under the class website. So once you have your image uh, downloaded, your HDR image, go ahead and drag it again to your source images folder. And now let's go back to the attributes and you should see next to the color uh, settings, there is this checkered grid. So let's click on the checker. Next to the 
sky dome light attributes and let's go to file because what we need is to link the file of that HDR image to our sky dome right so we click on file and then under our attributes editor this tab has changed because it's now going to the file section and we want to click on this folder and find our HDR file and then hit open so we've been able to link this image, uh, which as you see it here, it's a 360 image, right? So it can be perfectly wrapped on a sphere and we've linked it. And now what's illuminating our scene is actually the pixels in this image and the pixel information in this image. So if we go back to the Arnold render tab, you can see I'm getting this kind of interior lighting effect on my scene. If I select the sky dome light, uh, I can scale it down a bit so that it gets closer to the scale of my model. And again, you can actually render with this backdrop so if I go to my render view window and I render this image I'll get some of this backdrop which in this case is not really necessary so it's better if we turn this off in camera and then hit render again And so in this case, we would be able to design our own backdrop in Maya and just use this texture map or this, this HDR image map for the lighting information, but not really to collage uh, our scene into that space. We're just taking advantage of the, the pixel information in this image, and that's what's lighting our scene. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and go back to my Arnold render. And Let's look at some other settings. So again, we had intensity. We also have exposure that in this case, I think is not so necessary. We can just kind of fine tune working with intensity. And we have the samples. So the samples will change the quality of my lighting. So the higher the samples, the higher the quality of my image. So if I have my samples at one and I render this image, you can see I, I get like these little dots or these grains on my surface. So let's try changing these samples and bumping them up a bit. Let's put the samples at four and I'm going to create a copy of this image by clicking on this button. This kind of keeps my image under my render view. And now I'm gonna, with my samples at four, I'm gonna render again. So I can easily compare now, if I drag this bar in the bottom, my last image with my new one and you'll see that I'm getting much better lighting quality with four samples than with two. So again, this is another uh, lighting technique that you can work with. So instead of having to add a bunch of lights, you can kind of take HDR existing files that simulate certain environments and use that information to light your scene.